So in my last video I showed you how to download, install, and partially configure Pigeon to get you up and running. I encourage you to experiment with some of the preferences in Pigeon and find out what works best for you. But in this video I'd like to show you how to install some plugins from Pig for Pigeon, uh, mainly the plugin that enables Facebook chat. So we'll open up Pigeon here. And if we go to accounts and then manage accounts and add and look at the different networks we have available to us, Facebook is not one of them. But luckily there's a group of developers working on a plugin that is pretty functional right now. So a good place to look for plugins in Pigeon is going to the Pigeon website at pigeon.im and clicking the plugins link. Uh, there's a warning about third-party plugins. They're not officially supported. So if one of these third-party plugins causes Pigeon to become unstable, uh, then you're not going to get support from the Pigeon team. But you could possibly get support and submit a bug ticket to the developers of the plugin. So the plugin that we want is this Facebook IM plugin. We're going to go to the website. And I'll include this website in the info. Uh, the download we want is Pigeon Facebook Chat. Dot exe. This is the Windows version. So we'll click that and save that file. Saved it to our desktop. And before we install plugins, we want to close Pigeon. And then we'll double click the Pigeon Facebook installer. Once again, it's open source as well. And now we'll run Pigeon. And when we go to Manage Accounts and then Add, we'll see that Facebook is now one of the networks we can include. Uh, you use your Facebook email address as your username and your Facebook password as your password. You might want to experiment with the advanced settings to find something that you like. But that's how you add Facebook to Pigeon. If we we can look through some more of the plugins. If we go back to that plugins menu. Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, there's a Twitter plugin. In a previous video, I have shown you how to install and configure this off the record messaging plugin, which enables you to encrypt and authenticate your chats. There's a whole list of plugins for notifications when you're getting IMs. There's plugins for uh, the music that you're playing right now to let your buddies know what music you're playing. There's interface tweaks. There's a backup plugin. Uh, there's an extended preferences plugin. Uh, one of the very popular plugins is this purple plugin pack, which includes a lot of these plugins. It includes over 50 plugins, so that's a good one to install if you want to really tweak Pigeon. So I encourage you to check out these plugins and submit bug reports if you find something wrong with them. All of these are 
run, developed, and managed by volunteers. So, you know, if you find a plugin that you really like or you really like Pigeon, uh, consider donating to the development of the software. So that's how to install plugins in Pigeon. And if you have any questions, leave me a message or check out the blog at gaslampcomputers.com.